have received an anonymous tip that Alan, the trainer for the men's football team here at McAllister, might have information as to who did not somersault. Alan keeps track of the water and other things, but most importantly the water. And that may be the key. Alan, tell the world what you just told me. I don't know, looking back on uh, that one night, that, um, looking back I came here and uh, when I was emptying the water bottles, something really startled me. I realized that one of them was really full. You know, normally players finish the water, finish the Gatorade, but one of them was particularly full and that really confused me. At that time, I wasn't that concerned, but now in the wake of this full investigation, I had to come forward. I had to say something. You know why we're here. Alright. Do you? Do you know why you're here? In this room right now with me? Not yet. Let me ask you a question. When is the last time you've somersaulted? The last time I've somersaulted? Yes. Jeez, take me way back now. Um, I can't, I can't even remember to be honest. <laughs> You cannot remember the last time you somersaulted. No, I cannot. Robert, I'm telling you right now, that is the definitive incriminated evidence. You were the player who did not somersault after Cole Erickson's goal against Dubuque. I have evidence from Alan, the trainer, that you didn't drink much water that night. You weren't very thirsty. Perhaps because... I guess my mind was just on the game and I wasn't... Or perhaps you did not somersault and therefore you had no cardiovascular pressure, no sweat. Because you realize somersaulting takes a lot out of you. And just jogging around on the pitch, doing a little jogging and kicking of the ball, that does nothing. You don't need water for that. You need water for celebration, and you do not celebrate. Do you have a criminal history? I do not. You've never been arrested? You've never been found guilty of treason, by chance? No. I took the letters in your first name, Robert. I scrambled them around, made some little scrambled eggs with them. Guess what it spells? What does it spell? Traitor. You didn't realize that growing up you wrote your name on your papers. You wrote R O B Traitor. What is your first language? English. English? Did you not learn American Sign Language? Do you know what this means, Robert? If your captain does this, if he says to somersault, you don't ask you don't say when do I begin, you say, should I ever stop? Robert, do you realize after you cross the ball into coal? And he ran towards you like this, yay, yay, yay. You tried to give him a hug, you tried to tackle him like American football. Shall we consult the tape here? I thought he was coming over to hug me with his arms out wide open, wanting a hug. I mean, I don't know, I guess I'm just not used to having a hug like decline for me. I mean, for sure, like, it hasn't happened with the ladies here yet at all. I mean, they all like hugs for me, but I can tell he was very excited that he scored it being a defender and that he wanted to. You're a defender yourself, am I correct? Yes. And were you not thinking in your mind, why don't I score goals? I play, we play the same position, why can't the ball that I kick, why can't it go into the back of the net when I kick it? Perhaps you would pass it to someone else, you didn't want Cole to score the goal. It honestly didn't matter who I passed it to as long as we ended up scoring the goal. So you just kind of closed your eyes and kicky kicky and just wherever it went, you were hoping someone would knock it in with their little head or foot? Yeah, I was hoping someone could get a touch to it and luckily Cole did and we scored the goal. Robert, you seem to be in remarkably high spirits for having committed such a heinous crime. What is going on inside that little brain of yours? Do you have a sense of right and wrong? I do. Were you concerned about injury? A little bit. A little bit. Why? There's no- this is turf, it's not even grass. There's no roots, there's no little pebbles, there's no little chipmunks that might jump out of the surface and bite you in the rear. Why would you not somersault on perfectly smooth turf? Can you describe just the feeling that you get when you uh, when you somersault? I, I don't know at the point. It's like many stages that come to a somersault, course, yes. right? Yes. It's kind of then mentally preparing right. to jump into the somersault, right. and then the best part of it, which is the spinning the spin. part, yeah, especially when your uh, spinal cord enters in contact with oh, the yes. turf. Oh, that's just it's. I don't. I hesitate to use the word the word orgasm, and yet it's the closest I've ever yeah, experienced. Yeah, I agree. Or some kind of yeah ecstasy. Some, some, some euphoria, kind of like high euphoria. feeling. Yeah. Euphoria. Yeah, euphoria. Euphoria. I like euphoria. euphoria. Uh, how do you say it in England? We tend to say euphoria. Okay. With an emphasis on the aura. Okay. It's because it's it really is all encompassing. Robert, how do you react to this photo? You don't feel any sort of jealousy or anger towards this man when you see him smile. 
No, I don't feel jealous. He's a teammate of mine. If he's happy, then I'm happy for him, and especially after he scores a goal. Robert, you're saying all the right things now, but what happened that night? I think he was expecting some kind of a compensation after the game, you know, when uh, things are taken back to the dorms. So perhaps he was trying to save that energy for something later that night. Okay. Yeah. I'm not from around here. I'm not familiar with dormitories. I don't know. But it seems that a lot of naughty, naughty business goes on in there. Yeah. Uh, and especially after a big win. A big win. And then That's... for a guy who did the, uh, the pass, the assist, freshman. Yeah, definitely. Let's revisit Cole's first goal of his career against St. Thomas. He performed the robot dance after that. Perhaps you were offended because it sounds a bit like Robert. Robot. Were you offended by that? I was not, no. It does sound similar to my name, but I didn't make that connection. The connection. Robot. Is that your patented dance, Robert? The Robot? It's not, no. I'm actually not a good dancer at all, so... So that's even dance. further reason for you to be jealous of Cole Erickson. Now he's a junior, and you are first year. I'm going to tell you, Robert, you'll get there, my friend. You'll get there. But not like this. You know what I want you to do, Robert? I want you to sit here right now, look into that camera, and promise that in the rest of your career here, if you score a goal, when you score a goal, because I have confidence in you, Robert, if you don't in yourself, I have it in you, you will somersault after any goal you score. I promise I'll somersault after any goal that I score in my McAllister soccer career. Oh, how's your turn, mate? Right. We're not done yet. I think you've learned from this, Robert. I think you've grown. I think. In the past few days, you've discovered that allegiance to a team and, and your membership to a community is very important. And you jeopardize that when you don't perform and do as expected. I think you've learned that, Robert, and I'm glad to see that, that you've changed. Cole and the Erickson family, I apologize for not somersaulting after Cole's goal and after he requested that we all somersault. It won't happen again. Don Wright, it won't happen again, Robert.